From Dungeons and Dragons to Warhammer, tabletop games are a staple in every geek household. But what if we told you one of the classic tabletop games might be coming to your screens in the near future? That's right folks, Amazon has acquired the rights to Warhammer 40k and will be producing a movie or TV series for its streaming service Amazon Prime. Let's dive into what Amazon has in store for us. First up, will we get to see Henry Cavill star in his self-produced series? Who knew Superman would turn out to be a huge Warhammer head, but we're all for it. Perhaps this is why he turned his red cape in for the mighty flamer. Now we know. Cavill has our full confidence when it comes to creating something he loves, and he has taken to Instagram time and time again to prove how much of a geek he is, having designed his very own gaming PC to painting Warhammer figurines. He joined the Warhammer franchise soon after leaving the worlds of DC and the continent behind in his latest interviews, he stated that after being in the industry for 22 years, he has the necessary skill set needed to bring the Warhammer series to fruition. Right now, he's on the lookout for writers, creators, and filmmakers to bring the vision of Warhammer to reality, so if you too like Warhammer as much as he does, head on to Cavill's DMs and let him know. But that's not all, you know. There's a chance that Cavill might be starring in his self-produced series, and that's the cherry on top for Henry Cavill fans who were dreading not seeing him on screens. Henry has been following the world of Warhammer since he was a teenager and even has a tattoo of Imperial Aquila on his right arm. However, fans have been speculating which character does Cavill have his heart set on, and in one of his latest interviews, Cavill said there's only one character he's keen on playing, but the actor revealed that he might be able to play two characters because the series is based on a fantasy medieval world and anything can happen. Next, we have to answer, why was Amazon even interested in Warhammer 40k? After hitting that 25 million views on Lord of the Rings, The Ring of Power, Amazon is riding high and isn't ready to get down anytime soon. Gearing up to compete with streaming service tigers of the industry, Netflix and HBO Max, Amazon has sunk its claws deep into the Warhammer franchise and has acquired creative rights to the spin-off of a 1980s classic. Amazon recognized that such adaptations make watchworthy content and sell quickly. Game Workshop has yet to release commercial details, but we do know that Games Workshop has granted merchandising rights to Amazon. The Games Workshop stock reached a 15% high after Amazon's interest in the tabletop game peaked and with nearly half of the British population having some sort of connection with Amazon, we just know Warhammer will easily rise above the ranks of fantasy films and TV series. It's really exciting if you think about it. First, a Dungeons & Dragons movie coming in 2023, and now a Warhammer 40k series. 2022 was turning out to be a good year for geeks all around the world. Coming up next, who should Henry Cavill play in the series? Henry revealed that, if given the chance, he'd play Gregor Eisenhorn, an Imperial Inquisitor. And if you ask any avid Warhammer fan, they'd probably say the same. Inquisitors are kind of like secret police and intelligence agents of the Imperium, and they belong to a special ancient order that was created to fight off the demonic agents of chaos, very Geralt of Rivia of Henry. He could also pull off Caiaphas Kane. We've seen Cavill rock the shirtless look many times before, so it wouldn't hurt him to be our eye candy once again. As an officer of Astra Militarum, Kane is a decorated hero who rarely compromises on his morals, and there's a lot of depth to his character that Cavill can easily bring to life. He could also play the Primarch. They're engineered sons of the Emperor of Mankind, and one of the more prominent ones is Sanguinius, the Primarch of the Blood Angels. Immortal and possessing superhuman powers, he's no less than a Greek god, and we all know if there's any role Henry can flawlessly pull off, it's that of a supernatural being. Reveal Loken is another addition to the list of characters he can pull off. Known as the most loyal soldier of the Emperor of Mankind, he doesn't leave the Emperor's army after the fall of Horus to Chaos, and instead joins the Loyalist faction to fight against the ruinous powers. But there's a twist. He has an evil twin brother, Abaddon. Since we know that Henry was keen on playing two characters, this might be his silver lining. 
All we know is that whatever character Henry ends up playing, he'll make a memorable screen presence. Following that, who else can fans expect to see in the series? Potential candidates that come to mind are Dwayne The Rock Johnson, who recently let go of the DC dream. But fear not, Henry Cavill is in the same boat, and you know what's better than one hot male lead? Two hot male leads. He had recently discovered he has a knack for anti-heroism after starring as Black Adam, and he won't shy away from playing a villainous role in the upcoming series, Johnson for Orc Warlord anyone? We also have the Queen of Darkness next in line for potential leads, Jenna Ortega is one of the most beloved screen presences right now. After Wednesday's worldwide boom, fans can't wait for her to be on screen again. Warhammer might give the aspiring actress a chance to show off her skill set. We also have Millie Bobby Brown on the list. After gaining fame from Stranger Things and Enola Holmes, getting her to play in her first mature role for Warhammer would certainly be a huge win for Amazon. And on top of that, perhaps her older co-star might even convince her to join the cause. And who can forget Patty Cossadine? After gaining popularity for his role in The House of the Dragons, he's on the list for all dystopian shows coming up. Henry Cavill better bag him before anyone else does. Let's take a look at the plot of Warhammer. Since Cavill is looking for writers and filmmakers as of now, there's no set plot for the Warhammer series. But fret not, we've deducted a potential plot line for our viewers. Based on a political satire set in the 1980s, Warhammer 40k is set in the 41st millennium. The series has a lot of human themes within. In this post-apocalyptic world, innovation has ceased to exist, and humans are at the mercy of the self-proclaimed emperor of mankind who has psychic abilities. It serves as a commentary on modern times, where people are stuck in a war against evil aliens on an unimaginable scale. The series will feature the Imperial Guard who fight alongside Space Marines. Other prominent characters that will be featured in the series include the Elder, who are a race of aliens that are allied with the humans, the Orcs, who are a race of savage warriors, and the Chaos Marines, who are actually Space Marines who've been corrupted by dark forces. If you think about it, War Warhammer 40k delivers a dark yet realistic message on how humanity will end up if we carry on with our twisted ways. Now we know what really drew in Henry Cavill. If you've been following the Warhammer franchise from the start, you know that it has a very rich lore for a tabletop game. With a total of 9 editions from 1980 to 2020 and a separate series of novels that give you context behind the scenes set in the game, Henry is guaranteed to give the series the authenticity it so clearly demands. Next up, when is Warhammer coming out? Since Warhammer is in its initial stages of production, with writers and filmmakers yet to be hired, we're still not sure about when the potential movie or TV series will be coming out. We're also in the dark about what Amazon will be creating with this franchise. Will it be a movie, or a TV series, or even both? I guess we'll find out soon enough. But considering Henry doesn't have a lot on his plate after being let go from his role as Superman and Geralt, he has all the time in the world to bring his favorite tabletop game to reality. Judging by that, we might be seeing Warhammer 40k on our screens in the next five years for sure. Let's take a look at what makes Warhammer different and exciting. Every movie and TV series has a set of expectations, and Warhammer is no stranger to a huge fandom on Reddit and Discord. So if producers really want to amp up their ratings, they need to make sure they're bringing the most authentic version of Warhammer 40k to their screens. That is something that's going to take a lot of time. While there is a lot of source material to work with, with a fandom that massive, you don't really have a lot of room for error, so you have to do everything correctly the first time around. One of the things fans are expecting to be brought to life is Grimdark. So hilariously dark, a place where everyone is either plain evil or corrupt or immoral, there's no concept of goodness that exists in this series. Conditions are brutal, the future unpredictable and bleak, a place where victory means nothing and it's solely the survival of the fittest. And don't you worry, this cinematic setting seems a little uncomfortable at first, but we all know Henry has a knack for keeping things real, as proven by his dedication to leave The Witcher, when it started deviating from the original books. The series also has numerous storylines that date back millions of years before the actual event. Who else is thinking miniseries? Another aspect of the series fans will be carefully following is how Inquisitor Eisenhorn is brought to life. 
Dan Abnett has worked way too hard and invested too much in the lore, especially building up the Inquisitor series, which also happens to be one of his more prominent works. A complex character like Eisenhorn deserves an actor who can do him justice. That's a wrap for this video. Who do you think Henry Cavill will play in the Warhammer series? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.